Here we have the Nank Runner Diver 2 Pro bone conduction headphones, which have been sent to us for testing by the company, so we're very grateful. Um, this is the box it comes in. It mentions that it's bone conducting on the side and a few features on the back. Um, Bluetooth, waterproof, fast charging, waterproof microphone, because you can use this uh, in Bluetooth with your phone and a 10 hour battery life. So let's have a look inside. So obviously here are the headphones. We'll lift that out. And uh, first impressions are that um, these are a quality piece of kit. It's quite sturdy. It's got a nice texture to it, and uh, they do not feel flimsy at all. There we go, so those are the headphones, and next in the box, always good to have a user manual, which is uh, quite comprehensive. It actually starts on this side, we'll come to that in a few minutes. Next, we have the Charging lead, which I dropped. There it is. Now this is interesting. This is their own charging lead. So at one end we have a, a USB plug, pretty standard. At the other end, their own little uh, charging device. Now because these are waterproof, you can't have a normal socket. You don't want water getting inside. So um, they've got this little system here that transmits the power through and it goes in to this part of the headphones. Now they've got this set up, there's um, four pins there but also you can see there's a, a magnet at each end so if you try and put this on the wrong way around the magnet will actually repel you know, in the way that uh, equal magnetic poles with a repel. I just cannot get that to go on. But if I turn this round and try again, it snaps into place. See if I can do this so you can see what happens. There we go. That just goes bang. And that just kind of grabs on. And it locates by itself. It's a bit like the MagSafe plug on an Apple Mac. Just get it close and bang, it just pulls itself on. And that's a pretty secure setting. And the, um, the other end just goes into your standard USB socket to, uh, to charge. And you can also upload your uh, uh, playlists through this. Um, it's got about a 32 meg memory, so you can get about a thousand songs on there. Uh, plenty for most people. That's the charging cable. Then the other two things we have in the box are some in-ear plugs. Now these are, um, one end is kind of pretty standard there. Um, at the other end there's no electric or electronic connection, it's just the plug. So the idea with these is if you want to use them when you're swimming to keep the water out, this will fit against the bone conducting bit and um, or the other bit actually, and just transmit a bit more sound into your ear. Um, but we haven't tested that yet, so we'll need to see how that works. Um, but you don't need to use those. You can just rely on the bone conduction, which comes from these pads here. One there, and one on that side. Um, also in the box are these um, sound enhancers, and these just can locate their size, small, medium, and large, and they just locate into the outer part of your ear and uh, the headphone then goes over the top and um, they're supposed to enhance uh, uh, the sound. I think the way they work is to actually reduce the amount of outside noise getting into your ear so the bone conduction uh, sounds a bit clearer. Again, we haven't tested that yet, but that's one thing we will test. And um, finally, a little silicone strap. And the idea of this is just to uh, help, help these fit a bit more tightly. So we have a little hole, 
and a bobble on the end and same at the other end and these just go uh, this bit goes round Oop. and you just push that end bit through the Oop. through the hole and that engages like that and you do the same at the other end and that will just help these to sit a bit more snugly on your head um, so there we have if I can get that off again there you have a basic rundown of the Runner Diver 2 Pro the controls there are um, three buttons here volume up volume down and in the middle the function button to switch between functions um, oh incidentally when uh, when you are charging these a blue light comes on um, so you know that uh, it's getting the power and it takes about an hour to charge them um, and there we go so we'll be uploading our other video shortly after we've done some testing <laughs>